something super fun today. It's going to be Scout's Cake Smash. How are we already here? How is he my last baby? How is this my last cake smash that I'm doing? Oh, listen to me, I understand. There are a lot of really funny themes I could have gone with with Mr. Scouty Pouty. We could have done a farm corn on the cob theme. If you know, you know. We could have just done like a lot of different themes. However, I have always wanted to have a little boy's first like birthday party, cake smash, whatever theme be out of outer space. And like, you know, first trip around the sun type of deal. And I don't know why, but like scouter space came. <laughs> Scouter space came to uh, my mind and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just do it. I'm just getting ready really quickly. I'm going to go and grab a tiny little cake for it. And then I'm gonna start putting together the little like area. Um, my mom is with my kids right now. And so I hear one of them getting spicy, so I'm gonna go and help my mom, but right now I'm just very quickly getting ready. Okay. <gasps> Smells so good. Uh, Dime Lovely Sweet Dreams. Reminds me of when we used to all be obsessed with like that sugar smell back in like the 2000s. <laughs> kind enough to send me an outfit for it and I want to share it with you guys. This is the onesie that I'm going to be putting him in. It's super cute. It's in the size 6 to 12 months. And then they also sent this little like overall romper. <laughs> so cute. Okay, this is also in 6 to 12 months. And then I got this. I've gone above and beyond and big when it's come to doing this in the past. And I'm just not gonna do that this time. We're on a budget. So this was about $10, this background. And it's just like space themed and it's very light. So I figured, I gotta figure out how do you think I steam this? And so I got this, it was about I think it's like eight or ten dollars. I'll link it all below for you. And then in here is a balloon arch. When I did Sawyer's Cake Smash, I really loved the, the look of the balloon arch. I just put it up too high. So this time I'm gonna know better. I'm gonna keep have this be low on like from the ground up, and then right where that hits. I'm gonna take this balloon arch and just arch it right behind him, and then. I have to figure out what I'm going to actually use to put the cake on in front of him, but your girl has 7,000 baskets, so I'm pretty sure I could probably just find a basket to use. I mean, what I do have to do is go get the cake. I'm gonna probably bring Scout with me just because he's the easiest. Uh, and I'll have my mom stay here with the rest of the kids. And then I will come back and we will get us started. Do you hear the birdies? Do you hear the birdies outside? Is that a scout? 
The birdies sound nice, right? Scout. <laughs> Scout. Scout. Yeah. Let's go get a cake. Guys, it's too hot. It's too hot. Okay. A tiny smash cake. Where do you think we could get one of those? Like, where do you think has like the best selection of cakes? that are cheap. Walmart. Probably Walmart. <sighs> I just like don't have the finances to just be making some like bouge cake. Otherwise I would. I would just like make one because I could have the ingredients be much better, but I don't think I got no money. We got no limits. Hi, neighbor. Made a for ourselves at H18. We had the devil on our shoulders telling us what we should do. I wonder if you think about me too. I can hear the rain. I got piping bags, which like I kind of needed anyway. I got a happy birthday little like cake thingy, which I'm gonna also repurpose for their party. And then I got two, not one, but two little cakes. And now if I really wanted to go budget friendly, I could have just gotten one of them and I could have just kept it exactly the way that it is. However, I, I really went like, Scout's talking, I really went like, low key with the decorations and whatnot and so I feel good about sort of making the cake a little bit closer to kind of the idea that I had and just kind of do something creative. I have a feeling that Scout is going to be the neatest and most uninterested cake smash taker parter part taker <laughs> part taker of all my children. I'm sure you guys are going to be super confused as to what I'm actually doing here, so I wanted to explain it to you. So basically I got two cakes that were $5 each, and I'm going to add them on top of one another. But I don't need the icing that came with the cake, so I'm just utilizing the cake component of the cakes to actually build the smash cake. And then you'll see here I'm going to end up adding my own icing to the cakes. From breaking loose and leave the things that kept you chained So when you find the strength to really shed your skin All you really need to do is search within uh -huh.
in one of these. Let's see how well this little guy works. Because I'm always blowing up balloons. We have we always put balloons on the ground every single birthday in our family, so figured I would just invest in one. We also feel like I should probably look at a photo to kind of mimic, but you don't know where they are? They're not in the drawer? Yeah. They weren't in the drawer? Ask grandma for them. It's not a toy. Huh? It's not a toy. Huh? It's not a toy. Huh? This it's, is not a toy. It's not a toy. Yeah. No, it's not. Okay, not this. Yeah. This, this is a cutie. Uh, maple. It's ours. I know you're new here, but I'm filming. I got this little contraption off of Etsy for like 14 bucks and I am so sad that I lived my life for so long without one of them. It just uses air basically, it's like a little air compressor, but it made it so much easier to blow up all of these balloons. Breathing out for a minute Taking my time to begin with On and on and on it goes Swing it down in life, you know Breathing all that for a minute Yeah Hey, would you rather stay right here Make everything disappear You can play my favorite song Put your rose colored glasses on What if we stay right here Make everything disappear Okay, so this is officially my third balloon arch that I have ever made, but I feel like I finally got the hang of it. First thing that you definitely want to do is go to Amazon and get your balloon arches there. It's like $14 or $15 for this entire thing. Some were even actually $10 only and it comes with everything that you need. Second, you do not want to blow up the balloons too big. You want them to have a nice round shape to them. You don't want to try to max out the balloons. Another tip, when you are using this sort of tape, I guess you can call it, that comes with the kit, you want to just start. Just start varying the sizes and colors of the balloons that you are using. Don't pay too much attention to it. You have to get started first, and you're going to at first think that there's way too much room in between the balloons and it's not gonna look right, but it will start to really fill itself out and start to look really fantastic. And worst case scenario is you can just go in at the end and change in and out different balloons if you feel like you messed up. When you're setting up your space for your cake smash, you really do not need a lot of room. You need something to be behind your baby and something to be on the floor. 
Here you see me just using a kite baby blanket to put on the floor. And then I also got this back display for under $10 off of Amazon as well. When you are setting up sort of your back display, think close to the ground. You don't want to have anything too high up because then you're going to have to be really far back when taking your photos and you're going to miss out on those amazing, adorable little details of your baby. Scout's cake smash. He actually proved me wrong and was the baby that was like the number one messiest baby. It went right into the cake, no issues whatsoever, um, and made quite the mess. If you guys want to see him in action doing the cake smash, you can go to my Instagram at Lex Fitzgerald and you can go find the reel there. It's super, super cute. Every single day